everybody, Rob Bailey here. Welcome. Today, I've got a very special guest. His name is Andrew Hagen from ZappiChat. Welcome, Andrew. Hey, Rob. Good to be here. Yeah. So we have a very, very juicy mwahaha moment type <laughs> interview today, session, if you will. And it's because it's around my favorite topic and my new favorite topic. And when you combine them two, it's like chocolate and peanut butter. So let's let's jump right in, man. You're here to show us how database reactivations and AI make sort of the perfect marriage, I think. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. Like peanut butter and chocolate or my childhood favorite peanut butter fluff and peanut butter. No, Ooh, fluff. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I know that you and your audience have really honed in and been crushing it on running database reactivations and in providing just incredible value to your clients. And I know that with the workflows that you guys have done, uh, that's been able to automate a lot of it. But now, now that AI is on, is blowing up all over the place, it now opens up a whole new avenue to automate more and more of this process and deliver some really cool results. So I wanted to come on here and show you a little bit of what AI can look like in a database reactivation, running it SWAS style, and how that can provide even more value to your clients. And then talk a little bit about how to make it easy to sell, easy to get more clients. Does that sound good? Awesome. Sounds perfect. Sweet. So as you know, with database reactivations, running running a reactivation offer, your audience already knows this. I don't need to belabor the point. Offering something new or just even the same offer previously just to reactivate an audience and try to get people to respond. Now, previously, if someone said yes or something generally positive, you could trigger off some automations from there saying like, congratulations, you got your free pass. But now with AI, we can actually conversationally book them into a calendar to come in for a free class. So I'm going to show you a few examples in here of why I think this is really cool and a total game changer for the reactivation space for the agency space in general. So this first example here was from a, um, a type of gym reactivation. And so the lead actually responded saying, yeah, I'm interested. And so the automated text said like, great, you've claimed your voucher. Uh, let me check our availability. We have Wednesday at 4.30, Thursday at 9 a.m. Would either of those work? And you can see here that the lead responded, I'm already booked this Wednesday. Can I do 4.30 on next Tuesday or Thursday? And the AI adapts to that, actually brings relevant times so that they can book in and automatically be on the calendar. Now, this is something that you cannot do with workflows. And even if you were just to send a calendar booking link, you lose people there who just at the side of that little bit of friction, having to click on a link, fill out their information, causes people to drop off. So just immediately in this, you're going to capture a larger percentage of leads and convert a larger percentage on your reactivations. And we see a ton of our clients who are running exactly the SWAS model with the reactivations who are now boosting their numbers by implementing AI into their system. Yes. So excited. Love it. But not only that, it can also jump into other languages. If people respond in Spanish or oh. ask questions in French, we have people using it all over the world, which is really cool to see. Um, but then it can also even adapt to the more negative situations. And so to show you a couple examples of that, someone said like, oh, this one isn't even negative. But someone said after they booked, they said, I'm excited, haven't done any exercise in over 10 years and just had my third baby last December. And look, the AI came back and said, congratulations on your new baby. We understand life can be hectic and be difficult to find time for yourself. Our classes are designed to help you get into shape in a fun and supportive environment. We look forward to seeing you soon. And so, so good. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> and so like going beyond just automatically booking, but then even bringing on that human engagement, that encouraging tone and that positive environment before this person even gets into the gym. You know, we're talking about someone who just admitted they haven't exercised in about 10 years. And so rather than just being ghosted or being hit with some automated, can't wait to see you at class, the AI is actually acknowledging their response. Yeah. Or uh, a human who doesn't care, you know, writing back something off yeah. tone, you know, like that happens all the time too, because- Yeah, exactly. So someone's doing their- checking the box of responding, yeah. doing their job in that way. Instead, yep. you've got an AI who is going to acknowledge their answer and do their best to still drive it towards drive it towards that goal. And so you're generating more of a connective and human experience, even though we're using AI behind it. And so like, these are some of the, I don't know, they're more intangibles because they're not impacting necessarily your response rates or your booking rates. Uh, but I, I guess they probably impact the show rate because people have, 
more of that human connection and have more of that, oh yeah, this is a positive place that mm -hmm. I can show up to. Oh yeah, uh, nice. And so then just even like, here was a one that's a sad situation where someone said, I'm in Arizona, I had a death in the family, thanks for keeping in touch. And once more, the AI reach is comforting and human. And so even though this person isn't going to end up in the gym right now, their memory of this gym is going to be at least positive or at least once more, not negative, not having that cold inhuman experience and having some level of comfort within that. Yeah. Um, and I would say, again, just to add some color here, like hard as a human to know what's right to say and what's appropriate to say when someone writes something like that. Right. And this is a beautiful, beautiful job of being neutral, supportive, non-offensive, you know, pos somewhat positive, yeah. like it's very appropriate for the situation, right? If you think about what that person's going through. So this is amazing. Holy cow. Yeah. And still leaving the door open. And so these are the types of things, like I literally just went searching through some conversations about 20 minutes before this call, grabbing some examples. And so, so like, cool. just this is just me skimming off the top. It isn't like us digging for the coolest ones out there. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. It is just doing this all the time. And yeah. it's like a daily thing to check in and be like, oh, that's actually a really great response. Yeah. I think um, people are shocked by that for some reason. Like, you know, if you're doing these, you get to see a lot and it's very natural to just pop into something like this because you're talking to a high volume of people. Right. So that makes sense. But if you've never seen it or done it yourself, this, for some reason, is surprising to people. It's interesting to me, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're in a totally new territory in terms of technology, in terms of conversational AI. And so people still in our, in our space, in like that agency and marketing space, we're talking about AI a ton, but yeah. the general population still doesn't really understand uh, what this technology is capable of. Like my wife still just thinks that it can make Dr. Seuss rhymes and that's kind of, <laughs> uh, and I'm like, there's a lot more behind it than that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and so like just one more example from the reactivation space, just to show it dynamically adapting. And just, this was an example from pre A2P days. So this was a, a real estate, commercial real estate, reaching out to people they had listed as owners. This sort of thing won't really fly anymore with A2P, but I thought it was a cool example because uh, the automation reached out to them as Richard inquiring about their company. And he mm -hmm. says, I go by Mike, what do you want? And AI adapts over into Mike and uses Mike and the rest of the conversation here while still navigating through the conversation, booking That's the lead great. in, including, you know, it would have to be next week, though I'm totally booked this week. Just the fact that the AI can actually process that and mm -hmm. come up with, okay, great, let's hit you on Monday. So going early next week to get them to get them scheduled in and locking them down for a call to potentially convert a lead there. Dude, and sometimes this can be like 10 to 20 times more effective than just shoving a link in their face. Um, and I can't really tell you why, but I know that that is a phenomenon, right? Like yeah. a very small percentage of people will book in with a booking link, depending on your niche and the circumstance and everything, like the context, but you can book way more. It's just a matter of how exponential you know, it, it is for the, your particular situation. You can book way more if it books this way. And I'm glad to see that it's working some like not so common niches this way. It's Yeah, it's awesome. exactly. Yeah. We, you know, we as humans, we get hit with a little bit of friction, a little bit of misdirection, especially with how short our attention spans are these days. And we fall off of something. Mm -hmm. um, it is way harder for me to click on a link knowing I'm going to have to find an available time, give it my information. Uh, it's way harder to do that than it is for me to respond to a question that is like, yes or no. Or in this case, like, does Monday at nine or Tuesday at 1130 work? Like, it's much easier for me to go, all right, we got two times. Does one of those work for me? Sure, that one works. Or no, it doesn't. And the AI will come back with two other times. So just constantly making it as easy as possible and as low, low friction, low barrier to entry for the lead to continue down your ideal path and end up on a book to call. Agreed, agreed, man. Great. And so these are just some things that we have, or just a few examples that I pulled from people running reactivations and using the AI to handle it. And so I know that this shows you a little bit of what is possible and the way that you can provide value to clients. But a lot of people have been asking and looking for ways to get those clients on board and get them to see what's possible, like get them to understand, like you said earlier, folks don't necessarily understand what the AI is capable of and how it can actually provide value to your business. And yeah. so what we actually did was create a self-selling AI 
that is specifically designed to use the tool to sell the tool. Ooh. So, yeah, I call, this, I call this showing them the magic trick, right? Yeah, so, exactly. Hey, you know, explaining magic is very difficult. It's like, well, they kind of trick you and they do this thing and it's like sleight of hand. And you know, everyone's like, what are you talking about? And then they see the magic trick. It's like, oh, that was good, right? Like, so this is great. I can't wait for this part. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And so using the tool to sell the tool and to make that, bring that sort of lack of friction, that easy flow uh, into the actual experience. And so what we did here is we actually created a form and used some features from our AI to create a personally customized demo that can be done in under, under two minutes. And so what it looks like is that we have this form where all they have to provide is their name, phone, email, the name of their business, the name for the AI and their website. And once they submit that, the AI actually scrapes their website to generate FAQs, to generate some qualifying questions as well. And then it reaches out as if it is the business asking that person uh, what, asking that person qualifying questions as if they were a potential customer, booking them into an appointment and answering any FAQs about their business. Got and it. so this is like the, this is the, the ultimate sort of taste and see the ultimate Cinnabon free sample because it allows people to customize it exactly to their own, to their own business, to their own use case without having to do any work apart from just dropping in their contact information here. And okay. so like, my buddy is an estate planning lawyer and like had him use this to test it out when we initially first created it. And so for him, he puts in his law website and then less than two minutes later, it reaches out saying, Hey, this is per, this is uh, Julie from Perez law. Uh, I saw your interest on our site. Were you interested in estate like a, a estate planning or a probate issue? And then based on the response there, it asks a follow-up question answers any questions specifically about his business, about like his address, his hours, his pricing, though it kind of deflects on pricing and goes for it depends a lot on your situation. Let's get you on a call and consult about it. And then yeah. love it. So just to be clear, this is something that all Zappy chat users can use out of the box. They just like, is this a snapshot? Is it a website? Like how do they get their hands on it? Yeah. Yeah. So it is a snapshot that you can load into your agency sub account. It works on top of the, it works on top of our regular AI. This is a snapshot that you load into your agency sub account so you can run demos for this to directly to your leads. They can get a sample of tasting and seeing, and then you can book them into an actual call with you, or you can push them towards a, a sales link. Like, honestly, we have people who are just, the demo ends and they're sending a sales link instead of booking them in conversationally. And they yeah. have people just signing up and buying right there without getting on a call. That's uh, and so like, here was an example that happened, I think just yesterday or the day before where someone filled out the form. And so Allie, the AI assistant reaches out, lead says, yes, they had put in a like rental car company in the UK. And so the AI decided to ask what vehicle they were interested in big van. It gives them some options on the big van. They ask about price and pick one, give some price books a time, asks about paying a pickup, books an appointment, goes through the whole thing right there. And this person, I think, just turned around and bought Zappy Chat as soon as they finished this. <laughs> yeah. um, and, so, and so like this, this form has been incredibly, you know, just simple form. And Matt has taken it and gone the, uh, gone like the personal route where for people in his network, he just reached out and said, hey, I have something really cool that might be helpful for your business. Would you mind testing it out for me today before I push it live? And so he sent that text to business owners around him. And that was how he went from, that was how he did his like May 10K challenge where he went from zero to 10K recurring in under a month, just by doing that on the side. Because people are interested in testing something out, but then when it puts them in the shoes of their own leads, they understand, wow, this could really be useful for my business. Or like, wow, I had no idea AI could do this. Yep. And they so, they're now a believer that David Copperfield can perform magic. Awesome. Exactly. Exactly. It's no longer you describing the magic trick. It's them seeing it, jaw dropping to the floor, and being yes. 
and being like my daughter and going more, 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 yeah, more, yeah. Yeah. more, more, more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Real quick. Yeah. So this can work for inbound and outbound, right? So outbound being database reactivation, inbound being, in, you know, inbound website traffic leads, whatever the case may be, correct? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So like these are two specific use cases using it for reactivation or like running a specific demo for a business owner. But we have we have users who have set it up as like a FAQ support bot or just an inbound inquiry, move them into a booked call, all sorts of different, the, the, the possibilities are really limitless in how you I use love it. it. And we've built it to be as, as easy to use as possible. It's still, it's still a complex system, much like high level it, and you have like infinite options, but we've made it really easy to customize and be able to, to craft it for your specific situation and really get great results. That's awesome. Yeah, and so this snapshot is available with a, a current package that comes with a month of the AI, a month of our agency AI that you can white label resell entirely, plus this self-selling snapshot. It's available just at zappychat.com slash Cinnabon. Going back to that free sample, try a bite of the Cinnabon, and then you have to have the whole cinnamon roll the size of your face. Uh, you can check it out there. But it's been an incredible tool for growing our own business and for our customers growing their business as well. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm I'm a believer, man. I know Haplin is too. He's not here. He's actually sick today. But but I, you know, I think the the most important thing for people is to start showing the magic trick because that will increase your belief level, right? As the agency owner or AI provider or solutions provider, that'll increase your prospects belief. Uh, in record time, I mean, as soon as they see it, they're pretty much either going to be like one or zero. I believe this or not, right? So, it you know, if you're not good at sales or want to do more velocity and volume in sales, prospecting, et cetera, this is going to help tremendously. And really, once you set it up, if I understand it correctly, once you set it up, you can use it over and over and over again. Like there's not much to do. Like you can brand it, you can punch, you know, basically promote it as much as you want without having to lift a finger, and so, I mean, there's just not that many things out there that are that fast and that good. Uh, it just, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm, yeah. I'm a fan, man. I, I like we're, we're all in on teaching this and using it ourselves because we're just, as you know, we love solving the speed to lead problem. It's the most expensive problem any business has. And database reactivation is a great way to recapture some value, you know, without having to go drum up new new humans, <laughs> new eyeballs. Yeah. So I, I think this is a great solution to really help folks with that. So I, I want to thank you for coming on and. Yeah, um, anytime. My pleasure. And thanks for having me. Absolutely. So just to be clear again, I just want to make sure it's super clear for everyone. Is there, it, does every pack paid package with Zappy Chat have that feature, that snapshot that they can use to go and demo it? Or is it only specific packages? I just want to make sure that people understand. Yeah, so it is a separate package to have the self-selling AI. Okay. And so this package right here at zappychat.com slash Cinnabon comes with that snapshot on top of the regular AI. If you don't want the demo, if you're confident enough in your own sales ability and don't need people to taste and see, then you can just grab the regular AI package at zappychat.com. But if you're looking for something to make to put to put selling almost on auto, autopilot and use the tool to sell the tool, then this is the way to go here. That's awesome. All right, thanks, Andrew. Well, I want to uh, be respectful of your time. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this, Andrew is has been super gracious about you know answering questions, etc. So just wherever you're seeing this video, type a question. I'll make sure that our team can track him down and get answers for you guys. And we want to make sure that you have everything that you need to be successful with this. So let us know. Andrew, thanks again, man. Thank you for putting together a really rad product. We've been using you guys for years. I don't even know how many years it's been, but it's been years. It's <laughs> and, been at least a couple. Yeah. And and we really appreciate your the pride that you put in the product and the customer service and the responsiveness and the ac access to you, et cetera. That it's just been top notch. So really happy to partner with you on stuff like this. Really. Same feelings here. And it's great to work with y'all. So good, good uh, man. All right, yeah. well, we'll let you go and maybe we'll have you back soon. Once we get people all excited about this, maybe we'll have another jam session if you're up for that. And uh, thanks again, man. We'll post this in our community. Sounds great. Thanks, Rob. All right, take care, bud. Bye.